up, YouTube? Today I decided uh, I need to make a video. I haven't made one in quite a while, at least uh, not since I moved. You'll notice that I'm different table, not the uh, old oak table, but uh, this will do. We're going to take a look at the B5 Systems SOP Mod Bravo. Um, originally on this gun, this is a newer build I've been working on, um, I had this PSA M4 stock, obviously really cheap, really didn't care much for it. It was just, uh, just so I could shoot it for a while. But uh, since the beginning, I've really been interested by B5 systems. Um, I had one of their stocks before, but it was one of the, uh, the stocks that was not made to the specification. The Army gave them the wrong specs for the original stock that was made by LMT and Knight's Armament. But uh, next batch, they fixed that. Uh, a lot of those original ones wound up on DRMO, uh, which meant that they were basically demilled and sold on the commercial market. They were way too tight on receiver extensions, so they would have to be shaved down. Um, kind of put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, including me. But uh, I heard a lot of good things about uh, B5 since then, and the concept of this stock is pretty interesting, at least I think. Uh, as you'll notice, it does not have the little tubes that you would have for the batteries or maybe a tiny oiler that you would see on the regular Saab Mod uh, crane developed stock. But it does have the same or very similar cheek weld. Uh, the cheek rest is ever so slightly shorter. The stock overall is shorter. Uh, it's I really love this stock. Uh, I've only had it since it arrived yesterday, but exudes quality. It's not as tight as a normal SOP mod stock on my receiver extension. The definitely tighter than the M4 stock. Um, M4 stock, well, this PSA commercial version, um, it was it's very loose and wobbly and. Well, it just feels like cheap airsoft crap, but not too much different than the uh, than say any stock you get from Smith and Wesson. Uh, Colt actually, those stocks are slightly different. They're different uh, in this area right here, and there's some other dimensional differences, but for the most part, they're the same. I think there there might even be a different blend of polymer that Colt uses. But overall, this stock has a lot of desirable features. Uh, one thing I've I'm used to Voltor, uh, iMod, and mod stocks. The QD disconnect here is rotation limited. So you don't have to worry about your sling getting pretzel rolled. So you can, you know, remove that and, you know, for some reason you want to do it like that or what have you. Not to mention it still has uh, your traditional slot right here and right here. This rubber butt pad is very grippy. Uh, much grippier than what you would find on, for example, a Magpul uh, stock. Um, I'm honestly not that big a fan of too many of the Magpul stocks. I've I've always loved the Mo stock. Great, a lot of a uh, lot of stuff there for the price. Uh, CTR is pretty nice, except uh, I really don't need the anti wobble device in there. I don't, I'm not that nitpicky. I would like the QD swivel though, which um, obviously this offers, and what you would find on Voltor iMod or Mod Stock. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't go with another iMod was stubble. A lot of people have that complaint is my facial hair, whenever I have it, uh, will get caught in the teeth on that stock. So I didn't want to deal with that again. But overall, I'll show you the other side of the stock here. Try not to break this table with this gun, which, as you can tell, is unloaded. Of course, it's been safety checked. I'm not going to do a danger check like a James Yeager or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can... A lot of glare there. Here we go. You can see the texturing there on the butt, on the butt pad. It's very thick. Uh, it's, it's a really nice stock. Really nice stock. So, hopefully, uh, this was a little informative, 
If not, uh, ask questions and I'll respond in the comments. But uh, if you're looking for a affordable stock, this one was $58 from Bravo Company USA, about $2 more than what you'll find a uh, Magpul Mo stock for, and you don't get the QD disconnect here. Um, it's something to look, for, look at. And you get a slightly larger, and you get a, actually quite a, quite a bigger uh, cheek, cheek rest than you would on a Mo stock. More like, I guess, the uh, ACSL for Magpul or whatever alphabet stock it is. All right, well, that's it. Um, whenever the rail gets back from being repaired at uh, Troy Industries, I'll do a review on the entire rifle, but uh, you can kind of see where I'm going. My whole goal here with this rifle is to de-magpull this thing, and the only thing left in the end will be this uh, magpull trigger guard. But uh, all right, folks, that'll be it. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for watching.